The better you get at networking, the more valuable you become. Eventually, the pinnacle of networking success is to become what I call a gatekeeper. And that is the person that everybody wants to know because they know that that person has got connections that's gonna really help them as well. Welcome to the Seven Day Weekend. Hi and welcome to my channel, The Seven Day Weekend. My name is Stuart Wright and I'm an action coach. What I'm wanting to talk to you about today is networking. Now, in previous videos, I've talked about the different strategies that you can use in your business to generate new leads for little money down or um, maybe no investment at all. And one of those strategies was networking. Now, it's probably gonna cost you a little bit to go to a networking event. The only thing I will say is that it can actually take up quite a lot of time. So one of the first principles I need you to get to master when it comes to networking is being really efficient and effective with your time. And you will see, as I go into this strategy in more depth in future videos, how I'm really, really keen on making sure that you are following a step-by-step -step process to maximize the use of your time that you're investing to generate those precious leads. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is the overall mindset that you need to have when you are going networking. The thing is, so many people get networking wrong. They think that when they go networking, it's all about finding customers directly at the networking event that they're going to. Who do you know that goes to a networking event with the express objective of buying something? Nobody. Now, if nobody went there to buy something, then why on earth would any of us think that we would need to go and sell something there? Because there's no buyers there. And what I want to do is introduce to you the principle that we call our action coach, the law of precession. In other words, you get your results at 90 degrees to what you're aiming for. Think about it like this. Think about the honeybee. So as the honeybee goes around with its objective of collecting nectar from the flowers to take the nectar back to the hive to create honey to feed the hive, what it's actually doing is it, it as it goes around its busy business of going from flower to flower, it's pollinating flowers which creates more flowers. That's what a networking event is all about. A networking event is about you're going to that event with an objective in mind, which is to connect other individuals. In other words, to help them with their networks. And as a result of helping them with their networks, you are gonna help you with yours. So the principle is the more you give, the more you get. So if you can go with that mindset, who can I help here today, rather than what's in it for me, then what you're doing is you're developing a new kind of mindset. Now, the comparison that I would make in the mindset is the difference between a hunter and a farmer. If you think about it, the hunter gets to get up every single morning, chuck his spear, maybe catch a, a couple of wildebeest, take them home to feed the family, and then every single day he's got to get up and do exactly the same thing. Whereas the farmer takes time to prepare the ground, to sow the seeds, to nurture the, the, the plants, and eventually has a rich harvest, a crop that will feed the family for months, if not even years, uh, to come. So we've got to think about networking in exactly the same way. We are actually going out and farming by building relationships. We're not going out and hunting and uh, seeing who we can sell to. So if you get that mindset first, then you're going to find networking is going to become really easy for you and it's going to open up. So the next thing to think about when it comes to networking is what is my objective of going networking? Who do I really want to meet? And also, who can I help? When you've decided who do I really want to meet, then you need to know, then you can decide where am I actually going to go and network because you want to go networking where you're going to find those people that you've identified that you want to meet in large numbers. So let's say, for example, you are an accountant and you want to go out networking and your objective is that eventually you want to find some clients for your business. Well, when you go to a networking event, there's possibly going to be some business owners there who may be in the market for a new accountant. But don't tell them that. 
Don't, don't make that your objective, because if you make that objective, you're selling to them. What you really want to do is when you're meeting these business owners, you want to find out how you as an accountant can help them meet their objective. So you've got to have some carefully crafted questions that you're going to ask these people when you go out and meet them. What else could be that objective if you're an accountant? Well, maybe your objective would be to find some strategic alliances. So other businesses that are also looking to work with business owners, but not in competition with you. So that could be solicitors, it could be business coaches, it could be stationary companies. Anybody actually who is already working with business owners could be a good strategic alliance for you. Imagine if you help one of them by introducing them to somebody who becomes their next best client. What are they now thinking about you? They're thinking, I like this person, they've helped me, they've introduced me to my next best client, what can I do in return? You see, as human beings, we're actually programmed to reciprocate. So if we do something nice for somebody, usually they're, they're, there is almost a, an unwritten rule that they're gonna do something nice back for us. But here's another piece of advice on mindset. Don't go out there with the expectation that if you give and you help somebody else, that they have to directly give back to you. What tends to happen is the more you give, the more you set yourself up as a giver, the more you're known in the networking community as somebody who is well connected, the referrals will come to you anyway. You don't need to worry too much about that. The next thing about uh, networking is once you've actually decided on which networking event you're gonna go to, maybe it'd be a good idea to see, do some preparation. So in other words, find out who's gonna be there. Some of the organizers will give you delegate lists before you go, some won't. But use some sort of intelligence to understand, you know, is this a place that I really wanna be going to? Am I gonna find the right kind of people here? Are they gonna be connected with the kind of people that I wanna work with? Am I, am I connected with the kind of people that they wanna work with? If you've got a delegate list and you can look through that delegate list, maybe there'd be some people on that list that you might wanna actually connect with beforehand on LinkedIn, for example. So you could send them a connection request and say, hey, I noticed you're going to the same networking event as me on Thursday. It'd be great to be connected so that maybe we can have a chat when, we, when we're at the event together. So actually you might be lining yourself up some decent conversations before you've even got to the event. Preparation is so important in so many different aspects of business, but in networking, it's absolutely gonna mean that you are gonna be efficient with your time when you go to the event. You see, what's the alternative? You've probably been to some of these networking events yourself before where you go in, you haven't got an objective, you have a 20 minute chat with about three or four different people and you come away with a three or four different business cards and you're like, kind of like, what the hell happened there? You don't know what you were doing and they didn't know what they were doing either and not, none of you have really profited from it. So doing the preparation beforehand is key. The other thing to say as well is that, you know, what else is in the objective there? Is it to have 20 minute conversations with people? Probably not. Because, you know, a 20 minute conversation, you're probably missing lots of opportunities to speak to lots of other people as well. If it is a lead generation exercise, then surely you want to have as many conversations with as many different people as possible. And I would use a filing system. So in other words, you're going around the room and you're deciding who is it that is somebody that I wanna connect with after this event because that person is potentially in front of my kind of target market and I'm potentially in front of their target market. In other words, we can help each other. Second to that is who else in this room might be valuable to other people in my network? And thirdly, who in this room is not really part of my world, not really somebody that I can help too much and not somebody that can really help me too much. Because, you know, we don't wanna be rude to those people, but we probably don't wanna be having a 20 minute conversation with them when we could be having a three or four minute conversation with lots of the people that we do wanna to speak to. So we've gotta have some way of making sure that we keep the conversations nice and short and to the point. And in future videos, I'm gonna go into that in a little bit more detail. I'm gonna help you create some scripts that are gonna mean that your, your conversations are gonna be really 
to the point and you're going to get the objective that you're looking for. And also we want to be able to have conversations with people. We need to be able to get out of the conversation politely so that we can move on to the next person without offending people. Again, we need to make sure that we've got a script or a conversational guideline if you prefer to make sure that we can do that too. Now, if we understand that networking and networking event isn't really about what happens at the event, it's more about what happens after the event, that really helps us with our objective. Because what we're probably wanting to do is go around the room and say, who do I want to have a sit down one to one conversation with after this event? Because at that sit down one to one conversation, you've got their full attention. They've got your full attention. At a networking event, they're probably thinking about a thousand different things that they want to achieve at the event, not just speaking to you and you're, you're wanting to do the same. It's a great thing to actually acknowledge that. If you feel that you're in a conversation with someone that's going on a little bit too long, just hold your hand up and say, listen, I just realized I'm monopolizing your time. There's loads of other people you want to meet here today. Who would be a good contact for you? And let me see if I can go and find someone to bring over to you. Or maybe you know somebody at that event you want to introduce them to, the, to them anyway. You know, that makes you a very useful person. It makes you valuable. And that's what networking is all about. It's about making yourself valuable. The better you get at networking, the more valuable you become. Eventually, the pinnacle of networking success is to become what I call a gatekeeper, somebody that is known for making introductions for other people. And that is the person that everybody wants to know because they know that that person has got connections that's gonna really help them as well. Look, this is just a really brief overview of what you need to consider when you're going networking. If you really want the deep dive and the nuts and bolts of how to do this stuff, what I'm going to be sharing with you in future videos are strategies, step-by-step -step approaches, processes, scripts, conversational guidelines, templates for emails, and also magic moments that you can put throughout your whole of your networking process that makes you really stand out from the crowd so that you are memorable, that you become that gatekeeper, and then leads and referrals just come to you by the bucket load. So please, subscribe to my channel, put on the notifications, I'll be letting you know when those videos are up and running, and you can come back and get the deep dive. It's about three days worth of content. There's no way I could cover it today in just this short video. So please come back and watch those videos at later dates. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay, I get it, I got it. <clears throat>